Hi, welcome to Miss Amy's Creations. I wanted to tell you how I do my tomatoes for the, from the garden. What I've done is I've put them in the freezer as they ripen. I, I take the core out. Then I have just put them down in some hot water. And these skins I am putting on a tray to dehydrate to make some tomato powder. So you get to use your whole tomato. They're skinned very easily. And it's a very quick way to do them. So, like, subscribe, hit the notification. I'll show you more later. Hi, welcome to Miss Amy's Creations. I am now throwing together a big pot of spaghetti sauce. Now, it's a little chilly today, so I'm going to throw this into the oven and slow cook it that way. So, what I have here is uh, about two onions. No real um, way to cut them however you like. We like chunky sauce, so I leave it chunky. I have some green peppers here that I have had in my freezer. I have a jar of canned zucchini. We're just going to add juice and all because there's a lot of nutrition in that. Now, I don't have any fresh celery, so we're going to use my dried celery. And I'm going to add about two-thirds of a cup of celery. We are going to add um, a tablespoon of, this is my homemade garlic powder, and I'm going to do a very generous tablespoon because we like garlic. Oops. <laughs> Fumble fingers. I'm also going to add um, about two tablespoons of parsley. I also have my homemade Italian seasoning. I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of that. And then last but not least, I am going to add a half a cup of sugar, and that cuts down on the um, acid taste from your tomatoes. Now, I will just give this a good stir. I will throw this in the oven. I've got the oven on 250. This will take all day. You want to make it as thick as you like. Um, if you do not like a chunky sauce, throw it in the blender. By the, uh, Tell them how we use it for pizza. Yes, we also use this as our pizza sauce. We, um, But for which pizza? Your Hunter Special. This will go into the Hunter Special Pizza. And we'll be doing that September 29th because the 30th is hunting season. Starts here, our archery. And we always have a nice venison dinner. And that will be pizza with venison on top. So, that is how I make my spaghetti sauce. And you'll just want to keep watching this and stirring. And that's spaghetti sauce. Welcome back to Miss Amy's Creations. Our spaghetti sauce is out of the oven. And I've got two quart jars made up of the chunky sauce. What I'm going to do to make some pizza sauce 
is I'm going to go ahead and run this through the blender so that it is not as chunky. So you'll have a little noise. All right, I have this all blended up. I'm going to fill some uh, pint jars with this for, like I said, pizza sauce. Alrighty, we're just going to take our chunky sauce and we're going to put it in to the blender. And this is going to be delicious pizza sauce. Folks, not only is this here great for your pizza sauces, but if you're having any spaghettis, any form of carbs like that, such as your noodles, macaronis, so like I said, the spaghettis, this here, your kids will love it because they, it will have vegetables in it. And you know how much kids hate vegetables. Alrighty. Now we've got all of that blended. We'll fill up this jar. And we got just a little bit left. And I will put that away and we will maybe toast some tortillas, make them into chips, eat it with this. That makes a wonderful treat also just to use it as a dip.